What's up guys, MTGT Dirt Farmer here. Another windy day out in Montana, and we're gonna be doing a little spraying today, but not chemical, we're doing liquid fertilizer. So just a quick little overview on our sprayer here. It's an international Workstar truck, and then you lift the cab up a little bit so you can get these big tires on there, and you extend the frame of the truck out so you can fit the sprayer body on there which is a spray flex sprayer. So it's a spray flex sprayer truck, truck sprayer is what it would be called. And we've got the duals on here right now. Usually when the crop gets a little higher, then we'll pull off the duals when we're done with that. But anyways, let's get this thing fired up and go. All right, so first thing, we're just letting the engine warm up here a little bit slowly kind of filling everything. You can see our liquid fertilizer line there. We're gonna fill them all the way up to about 1250. Pretty tough to see from this angle. And then the next thing we're gonna to have to do is switch all of these nozzles from these brown ones over to these long brown ones. And those long brown ones are kind of streamers. So they shoot more of a straight down type pattern and that's what you want for your liquid fertilizer. We don't really want a big mist. We want it straight down spraying onto the ground, hopefully. So let's get this thing filled. This thing is uh, 120 feet of fun we got on this guy, and then about a 1,500 gallon tank. You can fit 1,500 gallons in it. But we gotta be careful with the liquid fertilizer. That stuff is super sticky, and you don't wanna be covered in it, so. to do to change your little nozzles here you've got this nice nozzle body and you just kind of turn it until you get to your correct nozzle body there pretty simple so we're out here in the field now this is our boom controller i wanted to get a gopro shot of a unfolding this thing but it's not my GoPro and it's already windy out there. I don't know if you can see all the plants blowing in the wind so I don't want to break what's not mine but we'll try to get a nice little shot of this thing unfolding here. Actually, I'm going to leave them a little high here too, just because I do need to switch all the nozzles out still. So we got all the nozzles changed. I'm just going to hit the master switch here and we'll see if it all works. You can 
kind of see it. Yep, little streams coming down. I'll hop out and we're only going to check and make sure we got little puddles everywhere. Alright, so you can see we got puddles, so I'm assuming everything's working on that side. Not quite full. You can get about 1500. I put 1250 in there just because I haven't been spraying for a while. And I didn't want to overfill the tank because liquid fertilizer costs money. So I think we should be about good to go. Another neat little thing is we got our little hand wash valve here. So this is just straight pure water. Turn that guy on. You got a little bit of water just to wash your gloves off. That way you get all the liquid fertilizer off your gloves. Pretty handy little thing to have on there. And one more thing before we head out too here. It's getting all the GPS set up. So actually it looks like I need to come over a couple feet. Because we're just spraying our spring wheat here. Just all these cute little fellers. And we don't need to spray all of our lentils. See these little guys. All right, so we are out here spraying now. See, we're pretty high off the ground. You gotta kinda just keep an eye on my booms. I don't have auto height or anything on this guy. And there's some big old gopher holes and badger holes out in these fields I gotta watch out for. But you can see we're going about 13 miles an hour. And we're doing 10 gallon work here. So 10 gallons per acre. So we should get about 125 acres or so spraying this stuff out here. So then the other fun part with doing liquid fertilizer is that you do kind of need it to rain a few days afterwards or else you're going to end up toasting your crop. It just gets it a little too hot type of deal and it'll kind of yellow it, just kind of almost burn it. So you need a little water to get the fertilizer to actually act correctly. We're going to talk about the wind for a second here. We've had kind of 20, 30 mile an hour winds today and usually you're not going to be doing any spraying when it's that windy because it'll just blow your chemical everywhere. However, due to having all those streamers, you can see they shoot just straight down there. So that's why we're able to put the liquid fertilizer down today. Just because they do shoot straight down like that. But yeah, typically you would not be spraying in conditions like this. Some of the things we gotta keep an eye on here. So we've got our GPS obviously and it's running this easy steer system that just kind of holds itself onto the steering wheel. It does a pretty good job, works well. And then we've got all of our sprayer monitor here. So you can see we've got volume in the tank. We've got 800 gallons left. That's pretty rough. It's not super accurate. We just manually put that in every time we load. And then our rate, which is the most important thing, the 10 gallons per acre. And it's got all sorts of different little buttons there you can hit too, but those are kind of our most important ones at the moment. And then we've got our switches down there as well too. So our liquid pump and our agitate, we're not spraying chemicals, so we don't need to actually agitate anything right now. So we always like to just rinse the sprayer off with water at the end of the day because any type of fertilizer is pretty corrosive to metal, especially liquid fer fertilizer. So yeah, we just rinse everything quick with some water and the cat's going to have to get off of there. Better get down, buddy. Just to, yeah, keep all the bolts and everything from rusting really bad. Anyways, that's sort of the gist of the operation here. So I'm going to get back to it. If you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments. Thanks a bunch for watching. I'll see you guys later.